Hello, everybody. Welcome to another session of Godly Play. Today's parable is called The Good Samaritan. And before we begin, I'd like to fold our hands and bow our heads and begin with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, please be with us as we gather here today to learn more about you and your ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. You need to be very careful when you come close to a parable. You need to be ready. You can break a parable if you are not ready. Look, this box is the color gold. Perhaps something valuable is inside, like a parable. Parables are very valuable, worth even more than gold. The box also has a lid on it. Sometimes a parable can seem close to us. You don't get to go inside the parable, even if you think you're ready. But don't be discouraged. I'll keep coming back, and one day the parable will open to you. This box also looks like a present. You know, there could be a parable inside, because a parable is like a gift. It is a gift that is given to you before you are even born. And even if you don't know what a parable is, it is still yours. This box also looks old. Parables are old. They are older than you. They're older than me. They're even older than your grandparents. Parables are almost 2,000 years old. I wonder if there really is a parable inside. I have no idea. Why don't we take a look and see? Hmm. I wonder what this could be. It looks brown. Brown all over. There's no blue. There's no yellow, just brown. Could it be a giant brownie? Or a big, huge piece of chocolate? What else is brown? What do you think? What could it be? Let's see if there's anything else inside the box to tell the story. There's this. What could this be? Very long. Maybe it could be a crack. Let's see if I can get that all the way spread out. Yes. What could this be? I wonder if there's anything else inside the box to tell our story. There's this. Oh, I bet you can't see that. I'm going to come closer, show this to you. There we go. So this looks like the city of Jerusalem. And here's the other piece that we see. This is the city of Jericho. So I know this must be a road, this long strip that we see here. So we're gonna put Jerusalem at one end of the road to tell this parable. And we're putting Jericho at the other end of the road. Now let's see. Hmm, I wonder if there is anything else to help us. Aha, there's these. These, there's two of these. They kind of look like black clouds or maybe shadows. 
I don't know. What do you think they could be? We're going to put one on one side of the road. And the other one will go on the other side of the road. There we go. Now let's see what else. Oh, let's see. Ah, oh, ha, ha. There's these. Which I know you're going to want to see up close. Look at these guys. Got bare feet. Or is it sandals? It's hard to tell. I think this guy has bare feet. Okay, so these guys are going to go behind these black things, but you know what I think? These are rocks. So this guy is going to hide behind this rock, and then this other guy is going to hide behind this other rock. Okay, now I think we're ready to begin our story. So there was once someone who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that people followed him. And sometimes they asked him questions. And one day a person asked him, what do you think is the most important thing in life? And the person that he asked said, you already know. That is true, I do. It is to love God and love people just as your neighbors. The person paused a while and thought, and thought. And then he asked another question, but who is my neighbor? And the person that everyone followed told this parable. There was once someone who went from Jerusalem down to Jericho. As he went along his way, he was attacked by robbers. They hurt him and they took everything that he had and left him by the side of the road, half dead. You want to see this person better? This is the traveler. That's what the traveler looks like. So he's going down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. When all of a sudden, out from behind the two rocks, the robbers came and they beat him and they took everything he had and they left him for dead. They actually left him by the side of the road. Let's move him over a little bit. There was also a great priest of the temple who went on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. And as he went along the way, he came to the place where the traveler had been beaten, everything taken and left for dead. And when the priest came, Here's the priest. When he came down the road, he saw the hurt traveler and he just went around and kept going on his way to Jericho. And then another person came. And this person was a Levite. And now the Levite, he actually, better look at him, he worked for the priest and he did things like he helped things with the temple and he helped with music. 
he also was coming down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. And when he saw the traveler who was beaten and had everything stolen and left for almost dead, he also passed around him and continued to Jericho. Well, then there was a third person who came. Now this person was a Samarite. I'm going to tell you he was visiting from a country called Samaria. And the people in Samaria did not like the people in Jerusalem. And the people from Jerusalem did not like the people from Samaria. Well, when this person came down the road, he saw the hurt traveler and he put medicine on him. And he gave him his coat to put on. And he then put him on his donkey and he took him to a place where he could spend the night. And so I'm going to show you this one. So you can see he's giving him his coat, he's taking care of him, and he's got that donkey, and he gave him a ride to a place where he could spend the night. And while they were there, he paid the innkeeper enough money so that the traveler could stay there until he got better. And I wonder, who is the neighbor to the person who was hurt and had everything stolen and was left by the road half dead? I wonder if it could be Where's our traveler, first of all? Here's our traveler. Who is his neighbor, I wonder? Could it be this robber? Or maybe this robber? Or the Levite? Or the priest or was it the samurai the caravan and I also wonder who was the neighbor to the priest who could that be? Could that be the Levite? The one that worked for him together in the church? One of the robbers? Maybe the other robber? The traveler who got hurt and robbed, left for dead? How about one of the robbers? Who is the neighbor to the robber? Is other robber? Hmm. The Levite? Hmm. The priest? The traveler? Or the samurai? Let's see, who else? Did the robber, hmm, did the priest, what about, what about the, oh, how about, what about the samurai? Who is his neighbor? Priest? The Levi? Robber? 
The other robber? The traveler who was beat up and was robbed and left for dead? So another thing I wonder is what would happen if the people in this parable were all women? Do you think the story would be different? Or I wonder what would happen if the person finding the injured person was a child? That is the end of the parable. So we are going to put everything back. Let's see, let's put the robbers together. Back in the box. And Samurai. The Traveler. The Levite. The Priest. The city of Jerusalem, the city of Jericho. Oh, and this is the rescuing scene. And the rocks go back in the box, and the road goes back in the box. And our underlay. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me as we learn about Jesus and his ways. And I'd like to close in prayer. Dear Jesus, Thank you so much for being with us today, and please bless everyone here. In Jesus' name, amen.